Last time we took a look at the demo of the Django project we are going to be building. So in this video, I want us to set up Python for Django development on Windows. So I do this because I'm going to be developing on a Mac and I want to make sure that every command I write in, in Mac, you know how to write it in Windows. So first off, we are going to need Python because Django basically is a Python web framework and we need Python to have to be installed. So if you have it installed, well and good, but if you don't, then you can follow along with the following steps to install it quickly. So you can go to downloads on python.org, then you go to the latest version available. So when you click download, you see it's gonna go ahead and download here. So let me give it a second so it finishes down here. All right, so once it finishes to download, then you can double click on it. And then it's going to open up the installer. So pay attention here because this step is very important. Now, the most important thing I wanted to show you guys is to remember to add this to path. So make sure you're checking add to path here and then click install now. All right, so what add to path does is it's going to enable us to be able to access Python anywhere on in our computer. So whenever we, ha we are in the command line and we type in Python, it's going to be able to tell that we have Python and it's going to be able to use Python to do whatever we want to do. All right, so let's wait for it to get done installing. All right, so when it's done, it's gonna tell you that setup was successful. Now for us to verify that it has installed properly and we can use Python anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and close this window here and then I'll close this. Then I'm going to open up my CMD. So I'm gonna type in CMD. And then this is gonna open up the Windows command line. So in here, we can type Python dash dash version. And then you see that now we have Python 3.7. So when we install Python, it installs pip, which is the package manager for Python that we need. So here, if we do pip dash dash version, you see that now we have pip installed. So now we are ready to go. We are ready to use pip to install Django. So in the next video, we're gonna be setting up our virtual environment and also setting up our Django project. So thanks guys for watching. If this helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.